What do you do when you design a really cool toy hoping that a U.S. toy maker will license it from you, but they reject it? You decide to issue it on your own. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Battlestar Collectica. Now, Buck Rogers is often referred to as Battlestar Galactica's sister show. So because of that interest, we are going to take a look at a very rare three and a half foot tall remote control tweaky figure. During the 1970s and 80s, there were huge international toy shows held around the world. Now, the purpose of these shows were for toy makers to see something that a manufacturer had designed, license it, and put their own name on it. Now, this practice still goes on today, and if you go to Walmart or Target, you will see toys, especially electronic ones, with a brand name that you're familiar with, but that company had nothing to do with the designing or manufacturing of it. All they did was license it and label slap their name on it. Mattel Toys was notorious for this practice because it saved the company a lot of money. And anyone who owns a Battlestar Galactica lasermatic pistol or rifle knows what I'm talking about. I recently uploaded a very funny video comparing a U.S. designed Buck Rogers laser rifle with a Mattel Toys Battlestar Galactica laser rifle. If you haven't seen it, Definitely check it out because there is no comparison between the two toys. Now, Tweaky here was shopped around at the 1979 International Toy Fair by Korean company Dawoo Industries. The hope was that since Buck Rogers was a very popular TV series that was just renewed for a second season, it would have been licensed by a European or U.S. toy maker, but it didn't happen. Every company passed on Tweaky here. He was rejected. So rather than scrap the Tweaky project, the company decided to issue it in America on their own. It did see a very, very limited release at Toys R Us, as well as the 1980 J.C. Penny Christmas catalog. Now, as for the toy itself, Tweaky is basically an inflatable figure on a remote control base. While today we would consider Tweaky a very simple toy, back in 1979, when he was first offered, he was considered very imaginative and creative. And I think that is why the company did not want to give up on him. I hope you enjoyed this look at a very rare Buck Rogers Tweaky remote control robot figure with a very interesting history. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of Tweaky. I especially want to hear from those who were lucky to receive him back in 1980. What did you think of him then and what do you think of him now? Please subscribe to the channel so I know you're out there. Give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great Galactica day, everyone.